All right, we're all set. Um, and so now I will turn it over to our director of commuter and resident life, uh, Corey Campbell. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our virtual residence hall tours. I'm so glad you can join us virtually tonight. Um, obviously, we're going to show you as much as we can without you uh, being here in person. Um, I, I will tell you, uh, be patient. I have a wonderful team. We are literally going to run around uh, to try to fulfill your requests. We've got people all over campus with cell phone footage. It is currently 85 degrees and humid tonight. So if we're a little hot and sweaty running up and down the stairs, um, please forgive us. Uh, if you get car sick, uh, these videos might be a little shaky at points while we're running around. So uh, I'll warn you of those things. Uh, before I introduce my staff, I'm going to just give you a little uh, preview of where we are on campus here to help you get oriented. So right now I'm on the second floor of Mara Hall and right in front of us, that's called the Mara Solarium. Um, this is the main intersection of our, our biggest main building on campus. That'll take you to admin classrooms. That'll take you to low dining hall. That will take you to Mara residence hall and Mara hall classrooms. All of our student life offices are right here, including residence life. And right behind us is low hall. Um, so this is gonna be some additional residence hall spaces and we'll take you out towards the library and the gymnasium. So this is where we're gonna start on campus today. Um, I'm very happy to meet you. I wanna introduce some of my other staff that's gonna be running around. Uh, I will ask them to introduce themselves and I'm gonna shuffle up uh, four flights of stairs and see you again from the fifth floor of Mara Hall. So uh, Bethany, if you'd like to jump on and introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. My name is Bethany Gary, and I am the Assistant Director of Residence Commuter Life. Um, so Corey and I work very closely to oversee the Residence Life Department, um, and I'm going to introduce you now to our hall staff. Um, so Shanice, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Shawnee Johnson. I'm an area coordinator um, for the first year communities, Brownlee and Havy. So I oversee um, 15 of the ORIs in that building and one of our head resident assistants. And now I'm going to um, jump over to Brittany. Hello everyone, my name is Brittany. Um, I'm a resident director at Seton Hill and I um, am in charge of the Fades area on campus versus Farrell, Deshano and Sisters of Charity. And now I will put it over to Rihanna, our new resident director. Hello, my name is Rihanna Dorham. I am the resident director of Maine. This will be my first year. And now I'll give it back to Corey. All right, thanks everyone. Um, and I think it looks like we have everyone in place. Um, so real quick before we start those tours, wanted to let you know that um, room and roommate assignments should be done for all resident students. Uh, so if you don't know your room or roommate yet, you should log on to residence. Uh, and the link is the same one you followed uh, to do all your housing forms and housing application. In there, it will tell you your room and roommate. So if you're not sure which one of these buildings you're paying special attention to tonight, uh, log on right now, check that out, and it will tell you uh, where you're gonna be for the fall. And just a reminder, on July 18th, uh, you can expect that email that's going to let you sign up uh, to select your move-in date and time for those of you who won't be coming as student athletes or band members or other early arrival groups. Um, all right, so if everyone is in, place. Shawnice, I'm going to ask you to jump on and uh, take us on a quick tour of some Brownlee rooms and the Brownlee common bathroom. So as you can see right here, um, I'm walking into our Brownlee showroom here. So as you can see coming in, there's a large front window and there's also two desks and all the rooms in Brownlee and Havy each um, have two roommates in each. So as you can see on each side, there's two beds and you can adjust these beds to your height. And you can also bunk these beds as well to save more room. Um, there's also a large closet right here. So you can put food and different items in there. 
And then turning, walking backwards, there's also two vanities um, on each side. So you can put like medicine and different things in there. There's also closets to hang clothes and different items. And each side also has a towel rack to put your wish rags and things like that in. Um, and there's also two like overhead shelves as well. So you can also store items in right there. And now I will take you, um, sorry the camera's a little bit shaky, but right here to our bathroom. So each floor has a um, bathroom on each side that has um, some showers and some stalls in them. So this is one of the stalls that I'm walking into right here. And there's two on actually each side and there's a bench in there as well, you can see. And there's also three stalls on each side as well. And then coming over here is our sinks and large mirror. And then on the other side as well, it's pretty much identical, but there are more stalls. There's another shower and also another shower right here in this. So now Bethany, I'm gonna um, jump over to her and she's gonna show you our rooms and dish and also the bathrooms in there as well. All right, hello everybody. I am over here in DeChantel Hall, which is one of our suite style residence halls. Um, so I'm gonna show you kind of what the common area looks like from walking in, um, all of the different amenities within one of the rooms and then the ba shared bathroom space. So let me get my camera turned around here. So this is the entrance walking into one of the rooms in DeChantel. Um, so you can see here, there are a variety of different hooks where you can hang up your coats or book bags or all different things. Um, there's a counter area over here. Um, in DeChantel, students are permitted to have one Keurig and one microwave per room. Um, and they can also have um, mini fridges. And this is a good space where students can put all of those items, or I've seen students put like those plastic drawers with food and things like that in it. Um, then also there is the sitting area here. Each suite will have at least one couch and one chair. Um, some will also have tables and additional furniture, um, but there will be at least one couch and one chair within the common area. Um, and then you can see where the individual bedrooms are. So I'm gonna show you what a single size room looks like and then what a double size room. Um, so this room here is a single. So this room would be for one person. Um, so as I'm walking in the room here, you can see it's pretty spacious. Um, so there is a chest of drawers here um, where you can put clothing. Um, this is what one of the beds look like. All of the beds and all of the residence halls look the same. Um, you can see that there's a variety of different pegs here. So you can raise and lower the beds um, to different heights. Also in the buildings where there's two people living in a room together, you can bunk the beds one on top of the other as well. Um, so that's what our bed style looks like. And then there's a desk here that has drawers and then another drawer there by the chair. And then the armoire here that has a bar um, for hanging clothing. There's a shelf up above and then there's two drawers down below. So that's what a single room looks like. Um, then you can see there's another single room here. And then down here, there are two double rooms. Um, some of the rooms have two singles and two doubles, and then others have three doubles. Um, but there's always six people in the rooms in DeChantel. Um, so this is a double style room here. So you can see um, there's a desk and a bed um, for one person. And then there's a desk and a bed for the other person. And then over here is where the armoires and the dressers are. All right, as we're heading over this way, this is the other double room you can see. And then this is the bathroom space. So this is what the vanity area looks like. There's a variety of different cabinets and drawers down below where you can store things. And there are two sinks. Um, a really nice feature of the bathrooms here is that the vanities, the shower and the commode are all in separate rooms. Um, so multiple people can be getting ready at the same time. Um, so you can see this is what the shower room looks like. And then there's um, some nice shelving here where a lot of times students will keep their towels or um, toiletries, things like that. Um, there is a towel bar there right outside of the shower. And then there's a separate room here for the commode. Um, you can see that. And then there's another shelving unit here that's right next to the vanity area. So definitely lots of storage available um, in this bathroom space here. Um, so that is what a typical suite looks like. Um, Brittany, are you in place for us to head over to Havy, or do we want to go back to Brownlee? Hey, we're ready for. All right, so I'm, we're going to head over to see a room in Havy. 
Okay, so this is one of the single rooms in Havy. Um, two people live in here, as you can see by the bug beds. Each person gets a desk. Um, you get shopping units on the wall, and then if you look over here, there's two um, two sides of the closet. This is the kind of space you get inside. And then there's two sets of these dresser doors. They're pretty deep. Um, there's a sink in every room in Haiti um, for students to use, and there's a shower space underneath. And then if you go over here, we do have like rocks or towels or whatever you want um, on this part of the side. Now we move. This is what a shower room in Haiti looks like. Basically, this is one of the showers. You got a double curtain. And we'll take you to the bathroom, which is a separate room. And this is the restroom in Haiti. There's stalls, so you can kind of see what's going on. And now I'll bring it back to Corey and Laura if he is. Great, thanks guys. Uh, they're all gonna take a uh, minute to uh, go reposition into some new rooms. And in that meantime, I'm in Mara Hall. So right now, uh, Mara Hall is gonna be a little bit different than some of the other ones you've seen. Mara Hall is a mix of two person, three person and four person rooms. So to start out right now, we're in what would be a two person room. Um, so you can see, uh, I'm gonna come back to the doorway here, um, the same uh, adjustable beds, twin XL mattresses. Um, there is uh, a desk and a dresser, um, as well as one of these little uh, end table nightstand, whatever you need to use that for, for each of the residents. Uh, another cool feature of Mara Hall is these are working medicine cabinets. So those are available, uh, one there and one there for the students. Um, they also have closets, building closets here, where you not only have lots of room to hang, um, if you can see it up there, but there's lots of storage space up above. So uh, if you need to bring your winter clothes, uh, lots of space to store those, don't worry about that right now. Um, so that was a two person. Give me just one moment. I'm going to flip this around and hopefully it'll prevent you from being as shaky. And uh, I'm going to show you a typical a three person in a four person room, how those might be set up here on the fifth floor of Mara. Um, okay, so I should be going in right now. This is a four person room and uh, I don't know if you've toured other universities, but um, this is a massive, massive room. So you can see right now that uh, as they had it set up previously, they actually had these two beds bunked, but there's lots of options how you can spread it out. Um, same thing, you've got your built-in shelving, uh, you got your little medicine cabinet there next to it, uh, the, the dressers, more of the shelving desks, uh, the built-in shelving, those same nice big closets available for students. Um, that's in all of our Mara Hall rooms. Another feature I'll point out that's a little different in Mara, all the other rooms have blackout curtains. In Mara Hall, we have these wooden shutters. Um, so if, if you wanna keep the room dark at night, they work really well. Um, open those up to let a little more, little more light in. If you can see it, some of the best views of Greensburg. And next door, I'm gonna have uh, a little bit of a smaller one. This is set up for three people. Um, so again, same amenities, just a little bit different room size between all of these. We have two beds there, one here, the closets, all the same furnishings. Um, again, these, these signature uh, medicine cabinets on the walls. Um, so that is going to be, no matter what room you're in, um, since Havy or since Mara Hall is a little bit different room from room, if you are going to be in Mara and you would like to reach out to get some 
um, pictures or information on that individual room you're living in, we're happy to do that. So reach out, let us know which room you're gonna be in and we can get you some more specifics as they're all a little different. Right now, I'm going into, um, into the uh, restroom in Mara Hall. So right here we have um, all of our sinks. And as you turn the corner here on the back side, we have uh, laundry available right here on the floor. Um, and we also have all of the bathroom stalls. Um, so this is right in the middle of the floor, um, nice and close to everyone. As we cross the hall, um, I'm going to have on this floor right here, um, a little kitchen area, uh, refrigerator, stove, microwave, Keurig, sink, um, little place to uh, keep some things, uh, whip up a quick snack if you're interested. And then finally on this uh, fifth floor of Mara, we do have a shower room. Um, all the showers here, um, you can see these stalls have full length doors um, and good size dressing area bars. We usually keep um, uh, stools in here to, to set your things on. And then these are, are full tubs and showers. Um, there are four of those available right around us here. So that is uh, the basic layout of the room and the facilities here on the fifth floor of Mara Hall. And hopefully that was enough time for everyone to run up and down the stairs. And I'm going to go back to Shawnee Johnson, um, who is going to be in the first floor of Brownlee now to show you the lounge, uh, the kitchen areas, laundry rooms, and some of those common spaces. So hi everyone. So I'm currently now in of the Brownlee first floor lounge. So each floor in Brownlee has a lounge area with a seating area. And I'm also gonna show you our kitchenette area. So as you can see, there's a large lounge space so students can come out here to study, to be with friends. And there's also um, RAs on each floor, on each floor are resident assistants. So sometimes they have different programming and different events that happen in this area. As you can see, there's a TV and then each bulletin board also will have different events on it. And then the one in front of me is what we call our duty board. So there's emergency phone numbers that you can call if you need any support or help within the community. Um, there's also two tables in this lounge area as well. So you can sit out and study or come out and be with friends. And then I'll take you over here to the kitchenette area. Um, I did see the question about the fridge that came up. So in the rooms, you can have a mini fridge um, if you wanna fit that under your bed or place it in the rooms. But if you don't wanna bring a mini fridge, we do have a community fridge. So if you do bring any large foods, you can just place your food in here and then you would just have to label and put your name on it. Um, we also do have a kitchenette area over here. There is a Keurig and microwave, so you are not permitted to bring a Keurig and microwave for the Brownlee and Havy community because it's already provided. Um, but you can bring pots and pans for cooking, and there's also some storage area. So as you can see, I'm opening up these shelves right here. So some students like to leave like their cooking wear or bring it to cook with friends in the community. Um, there's also a small toaster in this area as well that you can use. And now I'm gonna be walking over to our laundry area. So there is one laundry room located in Brownlee and that's on the first floor. So as you can see, it's about six dryers and five washers on each side. Um, students also have access to put in what we call our CSC request. So if there's any questions or concerns that you have about the laundry or washing or anything, you can just contact them or contact um, myself or your RAs on your floor. And there's also an iron. So students are not permitted to bring irons either. So you can use the iron in here with the ironing board as well. And now I'm going to go over to, oh, and there's also free laundry. So all the laundry in the building is free and it's free on campus too. Um, so now I'm going to go back over to Brittany and Rihanna, who are going to show the Havy basement and the laundry room as well in that area. Hey, so this is the Havy basement where we have three washers and three dryers. There's also a pool table down here and a um, vending machine. And then also, if you're waiting for your laundry, there's some houses over here where you can just like set a table to put your clothes. Uh, there's also a bridge down here and a full stove. We also have a sink. 
and some um, space to you know just store things. And then across the hall and maybe um, we actually have another lounge area for students. Um, during the summer, we use it for summer storage. So there's some things here and there that you might see, but we have a ping pong table down here. Lots of chairs and tables for seating, studying, hanging out, whatever you want to do. Um, some couches, there's a TV. And then over here, there's also another table and another sink and another stove for students to utilize um, if they wish. There's also a mini fridge down here as well. Okay, and now we will jump back to Bethany in Deschantel. All right. Hello again, everyone. We are here on the second floor of Deschantel in the common area. Um, so there is a common space up here that has a variety of different tables and chairs where you can sit to study. Um, if you want to get out of your room for a little while, say hi to the guys who just got done with football practice. <laughs> um, there's also a pool table here. And then you can see in the distance, it can also be converted into a ping pong table. Um, so there's a little sitting area over here with some couches and chairs um, and a TV. So lots of different space where you can hang out outside of your room. Um, also on the second floor here in Deschantel is the laundry room. Um, so you can see here we have three washers, or sorry, four washers and four dryers. Um, and once again, laundry across campus is free for all students. Um, and we do provide, like Shawnee's had said, an iron board and iron. Um, there's also a vending machine every residence hall as well. There's a drink um, depending on the building. Um, but when you first get to campus, your RA can show you where those are located. Um, we're gonna peek over here at the kitchen area. Um, I do believe we, the students that we have here on campus might be using the space to heat up their dinner, um, but you can say hi to them. Oh, nope, they must just left. All right, so you can see here, we do have a stove space and some cabinets for storage. There's a microwave sink and a refrigerator so lots of space for um, cooking and just kind of hanging out with members of the community um, i have heard of some students that kind of get together and have family dinners on sunday nights and everybody brings a little something so um, that is pretty much the end of the community area in deschantel i'm going to send it back over to shawnice who's going to show us the brownlee underground so right now I'm in what we call our Brownlee bug. So in addition to each lounge on each floor, we also have a bug where students can come and go. Um, so in the bug area, as you can see, there's a printer in this building. So if you don't wanna bring one, you can just come down to this area or you can go to the, the library to print different places. Um, and then there's also a few couches and chairs and tables that you can sit at with friends and just come down here to be together. Um, some of the RAs do also have programming down here as well. And as you can see, the, the mailboxes are also over here. So if you have any like letters or small items, they will be coming here. But if you have any larger packages, they would actually go to the admin building in that mail room. And then as you can see, we have a few more game tables back here. And then there's also, um, I'm just walking back to the restrooms back here. There's two restrooms on each side right here. Um, so that's what we do have a small Ashley kitchenette area on this side as well. So if you don't wanna use the lounge areas, you can always come down here to cook. Um, so similar to the upstairs as well, it has a small stove area that you can make things. There's also cabinets if you wanna store different items in here. Um, just gonna show you some of the things that are in these ones. And then other than that, um, that's all that we have down here in this space. So. I think I'm going back to Corey for the Mora or for our conclusion, actually. Thanks, Shawnice. Thanks, everyone, uh, for, for running around and, and getting all these spaces. Um, one I wanted to point out that uh, it, it depends uh, building to building. They're all not necessarily someplace we got in our tours. But all of the buildings do have a wireless printer in them as well. Um, so you don't have to worry about bringing a printer. Uh, Seton Hill will set you up with a printing account. You can print to any wireless printer on campus uh, wherever you are. So um, those are handy. They're, they're lo located in each building and you can always get to those. I think that should cover most of the spaces and the rooms that 
about 99% of our first year new students uh, will be in. Uh, if you have um, any additional questions, I see a couple more in. I saw um, two questions about window air conditioners. Um, and, and the best uh, guidance for that is that would only be permitted if they were deemed medically necessary by our Office of Disability Services. So if you are wondering whether or not you would uh, 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 qualify for that uh, in the Office of Disability Services, recommend uh, you reach out to them and they would determine whether or not that was medically necessary. If it is medically necessary, you would be responsible for providing your own unit. Um, I'm trying to see. Um, sure, I was we will. If you could verbalize your answers that you gave through the chat about um, how tall can the beds be moved up to, so the beds on the on the ends there can be moved up. Oh, great! Yeah, that's that's a good one. I was trying to stay on top of them. Um, I'm going to show you here. Um, so these beds, um, they have little pins along the ways uh, that allow them to adjust. Um, so uh, adjusted all the way up, uh, I'm six feet tall. Uh, the top of that's about hip high. So add a few inches for the mattress that's pretty high off the ground, but that will give you about 30 inches of clearance under the bed for storage of, um, you know, totes, uh, suitcases, uh, your mini fridge, anything like that. Um, realistically, uh, those mini fridges, most of them are only about 24 inches high, so you can do something um, that's just uh, you know a little more comfortable for you to get in and out of something like this, and still have um, you know it's almost two feet uh, of storage under the bed as it's set up right there. Um, I, I'm also seeing some questions, so Matt, I will just go ahead and verbalize this for our chat about TVs. You are welcome to bring TVs. Um, we don't have cable hookups in the room but we do have Wi-Fi around campus and um, IT is more than happy if you send them your Mac address. Um, they can whitelist your TV or your Apple TV unit or Chromebook or Fire TV stick, um, whatever you use for entertainment. They can add that to our campus Wi-Fi network, um, the, the TV itself, if it's a smart TV and get that on there so that you'll still have access to your Netflix, Hulu, um, Disney Plus, you know, whatever you're watching at home. If you want to bring that and set it up into your room, we can absolutely uh, help you get that set up with our IT department. You also mentioned the size for mini fridges in the chat. Can you verbalize that one for us? Yes. So mini fridges um, up to 2.7 cubic feet. Um, that's kind of the medium size. It's not the one that has a full separate freezer door on it, um, but it's not the little teeny one that, that only holds a couple things. Uh, we find one, uh, the power consumption, um, it, it doesn't overwhelm some of the, the circuits in these older buildings, um, as well as it, it's more than enough storage for what students need. Um, most of the time, you know, a, a few Gatorades, bottles of water, fruit snacks, things like that. Uh, but most people aren't really going out and um, buying large quantities of groceries or anything that they're keeping in the room. Uh, if you did want to pick up a carton of eggs or something for the week that it wouldn't fit, you always have those common refrigerators in, in all of these halls as well. At the, oh. Would it be possible to see a Havy Hall suite for free? Um, Michaela, if you want to stay on, um, can we confirm, uh, Brittany, Rihanna, are you guys still around? Are you still there? Yeah, we're yes. here. Okay. So, um, could you go upstairs to, uh, 322? Um, I know that that one was all clean and set up, um, and here at the end, if you want to stick around, uh, we will take you through a tour of that one. I also talked to Rachel whenever we're done recording. I'm going to take her through her individual room here in Mara um, for some of the people that, that have a little bit different situations. Um, but any other questions that we can answer for people right now? Good question about packing lists. What to bring to campus? Yes, there should be. If you go to our public website, that is uh, Seton Hill. Dot edu, and you go to the housing and dining page. Um, 
there should be a packing list there available under the frequently asked questions. There's also, <clears throat> if you got the mailer from OCM, uh, which, which was uh, the big uh, packet of papers you got that had um, the ability to order bed sheets, linens, towels, all that stuff. Uh, there was a packing list in that envelope. So if you still have that. Uh, I don't know which one would do. I never have fucking tissue and I need that. Thanks, Matt. Put a tissue pouch in my car. Okay. And any other questions? I posted the link to the moving checklist in there for you. So you have that. Okay, it, it seems like that's probably most of them. If you have any more questions, Matt, would you be able to, to put my email in the chat too? Yeah. You know, we are only uh, doing the residence halls um, today. Matt and Chris, is there still a campus tour? Um, someone just asked uh, about the library. We, we give the campus tours or the specific areas on your Setonian orientation. So if you've been on campus, um, if you haven't been on campus, if you're coming next Friday or in August, we can show that. Um, otherwise, if you want to, you can always reach out and we can schedule an individual time if you'd like that. Uh, it's also, I mean, these are type of things we do during welcome weekend. So, I mean, that's a good pitch there is know that we have a pretty big uh, schedule set for everyone Friday, August 19th until the 21st, where we will have um, tours of campus and many activities throughout that entire weekend. Um, again, that weekend, welcome weekend, is, is the required orientation for all new students Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we'll have plenty of opportunities there as well. Um, I, so John asked just, a question about ath athletes and, and specific living for them. Yeah, so um, the, the answer is that most of our student athletes will live in Brownlee Hall. It's not necessarily because um, that's any better for student athletes um, as much as that's just the biggest of these three or four areas that we showed today. Um, that one's about 180 people. Uh, Mara and Deshano are both 30 to 40. Um, Havy's about 110. So but the way the math works out, most of our student athletes will be in Brownlee, uh, but there's no specific athletic hall or, or hall that's not for athletes. Um, you'll be kind of dispersed around campus. All right, then I think in that moment, what I'll do is, uh, Corey, anything else to wrap up? No, I just, uh, I thank everyone for joining us tonight. Again, special thanks to all my staff for running around. I, I know people are, <laughs> are hot and sweaty right now, but uh, I think it's a lot of fun to do these tours to give you guys a glimpse of campus, uh, to show you around your rooms. And we're really excited to welcome you in August. So thanks everyone for, for making this possible tonight. Absolutely. And thank you everyone for attending. Um, as a reminder, if you attend any three of our Road to the Hill sessions this summer, we'll have some exclusive shoe swag for you. Uh, we have more sessions, one more coming up next week. And then uh, each of the following weeks, uh, coming up in, in, in this uh, rest of the summer. So we have four more sessions. Next week is going to be our Griffin gathering for you. Uh, then we'll have a session for our first generation students. And so hope to see you in our upcoming summer sessions before welcome weekend again, the weekend of Friday, August 19th through the 21st. And with that, uh, thank you everyone. For those of you who might have some specific things, feel free to stick around and I'll turn off the recording there. Everyone have a good night. Thanks, Matt. Uh, can you just leave the, the meeting?